Hey guys, getting ready to go down the St. Croix River here in New Brunswick. I got my beautiful lady Jess here with me. We're doing a three day trip. We're going to be covering about 22 kilometers during this trip. Nothing strenuous, just trying to get out and enjoy the nice weather. It's the first week of July. It is crazy hot. It's like 35 degrees out. So we're going to try and make the best of it. All right, we're on our way. We're going to hit about nine sets of rapids today. Should be fun. Got some damselflies doing it on my kayak here. Damsel flies everywhere. We're just getting ready to run through our first set of rapids. Ooh, I'm excited. so far babe we're gonna stop at top of the narrows and have some lunch but first a swim on the lunch menu for today, babe? Uh, ham and turkey and Swiss cheese. I'm having lettuce you don't want any.
That was fun. a shallow spot. Uh, we had to drag our kayaks to the last two sets of rapids, but it's all good because there's no more rapids today. It's just smooth sailing until we get to the campsite. Nature is pretty amazing that a tree that big can be uprooted that badly and it's still growing. Busy, busy beaver. So the site we had planned to stay at at the first night was a bus. The water is just too shallow. It's too muddy to get in there. So we're heading down to the next campsite. Scope that out. Right, we made it to our campsite for the first night, finally. It took a lot longer than we expected. Very glad to be here. It's hot, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Uh, this is Halls Brook. This is going to be our home for the night.
So this is our campsite for the first night. Still got lots of sunlight left, so we can take our time setting up camp, looking for firewood, cooking supper, all that good stuff. So I know when you're kayak camping, it's all about cutting down on weight and size of everything. But I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to tents, so that's why I always bring this. And there's our hope for the night. ham steaks and mashed potatoes with vegetables. It's the morning of day two. Uh, we slept in pretty late. It's like 10 a.m. But we were late getting to sleep last night because it was so hot last night. Especially in the tent. Uh, it's a lot cooler today. There's a nice breeze, which is a very welcome change. Yesterday was a long day. Uh, we went a lot further down river than we had planned because the river is so low right now. This is the lowest I've ever seen this river. The campsite that we had originally intended to camp at uh, it was mud up to your waist, trying to walk into it, so we just kept going. Came down to this campsite, which is a beautiful site. It's just further than we planned on going. And between the heat and how low the river is, I was exhausted by the time we got here. But it's all good. It's a beautiful day. We're going to head a little ways down river later on. Sit here and enjoy the shade and the breeze for a bit. Because we went further than we planned yesterday, we don't really have that far to go today. Uh, we're going to have our one and only portage of the trip today. So we'll only be on the water for a couple hours, and we'll set out camp again and relax again for the evening. So I love me a Caesar, but I bought some of these packets to try and save some space. Let's see how they taste.
So one good thing about this river, it's a maintained river, so there's actual bathrooms. On day two is a breakfast bowl with leftover ham steaks, eggs, green peppers, mushrooms, and cheese. So we put in yesterday here in Vanceboro. We went all the way down through here. Down, 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 past these islands. We were going to camp here, but like I said, it was too muddy because the water was too low. We couldn't even get inshore to the campsite. So we ended up going all the way down and around through here and camp here for the night. Now today we're only going to go as far as here, hopefully, if that site's empty. This is the only Class 3 rapid on the river, but because the river's so low, there's probably no way we're going to get over it. So we're going to have to portage around that. So I'm totally fine with it being a short day. So explain what you're doing right now, Jess. We made it to our only portage on this trip at Little Falls. We're going to walk around and check it out. my sunglasses, so that kind of sucks. I mean, they're cheap. Well, I got them for free, actually, but it still kind of sucks. I was just walking along, and they just snapped. Weird. Anyway, we portaged all our gear around Little Falls. We portaged Jessica's kayak around. But I'm feeling brave, maybe a little stupid, so I'm going to go over. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Alright, here we go.
lap full of water, but other than that, that was great. This is our site for the second night. This is Duck Point. Beautiful view from this place.
Nice big campsite too. So it was another hot one today, not quite as hot today, if you ask me, but Jessica said it felt hotter today. According to the old satellite phone though, the weather forecast says it wasn't quite as hot, so who knows. <laughs> the wind's picking up tonight though, which is actually quite welcome. It's quite comfortable now. There's a chance of rain tonight, only about 10%. Uh, it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so we'll probably pack up and leave fairly early in the morning. We're just sitting relaxing for a bit now, having a drink. Jess is reading some more of her book before we start setting up camp, cooking supper. So what are you reading anyway, Jessica? It's about a guy who goes off into the north with a friend, and I don't want to give away any of the book for you. <laughs> he wants to explore unexplored territory. Cool eagle field. Ugh, ugh. They got marshmallows like crazy. Pretty cool bald eagle feather laying on the ground here at the campsite. I always bring a travel game with us when we go down river. This trip's game, trouble. Yes, we are playing two colors each, by the way. Oh, you guys are going first. Yes. Oh. So close. So what do we make for supper for night two? We have some pasta with canned wax beans, tuna, and curry mushroom soup on a bed of lettuce. Nice.
We didn't have lunch today because we slept in so late, so it's leftovers for a late night snack. Ten after ten, and it's still not completely dark. The morning of day three, uh, it's overcast and breezy. Calling for rain later this afternoon, so we're going to pack stuff up, make some breakfast, maybe have some coffee and some hot chocolate. Travel about the 20 to 30 minutes down to our vehicle. kind of scary. Uh, big thunder and lightning storm came out of nowhere. So we huddled up in the tent and hugged each other <laughs> until it passed. I think the worst of it's passed now though, so we're going to wait a few more minutes and pack everything up and get the heck out of here. That turned into quite an adventure, right, honey? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we made it to our takeout spot finally. We had to paddle the whole way in the rain. I uh, heard a couple claps of thunder, saw two flashes of lightning, but they're way off in the distance, so we just hammered down trying to get here. Now it's time to unpack everything, load it all in the Jeep. Drive home, take a nice, long, hot shower.